Hi all. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late tonight. Just um, trying to fin finish off a couple of extra projects to show you. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, tonight we're featuring shakers. So we're going to do a scrapbooking page shaker. Um, or I'm going to show you how to do one. I've done a couple. Um, a Christmas card shaker. I'm just going to show you what, what I've done. Um, another one featuring the Share the Joy promo, which is, uh, I think that finishes today. Hi, Judy. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you some, some really cool stuff that we've got. So um, it's going to be four scrapbookers and card makers. And it's going to be fun. So uh, be sure to um, comment. I, I can't really see your comments unless I stand up and have a look. But I'm sure there'll be other girls pop on in a second. So I'm just going to switch the camera around so you don't have to look at my face. And I'm going to show you the project. So just hold up. Okie dokie. Oh, you can see my projects. Right, let me get this straight. And... We'll see who's going to join us tonight. Okay, hopefully that's good. I can move my little bit. All right, so what are we going to start with tonight? Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to, um, I actually might go through the products that I'm going to use and that way you'll be all good. So first I'm going to show you, this is a card that's in the Christmas card buffet. I did this one last year um, and it never made it to the buffet and we just bought it out um, this July for Christmas in July. So, um, this one will be in the buffet until it's gone, but it's really cool. I went down to um, Point Vernon Beach and I stole, stole a little handful of sand so that we could put this Santa. Now this Santa isn't available anymore, so you'll only be able to do it in the buffet, but he is a super cute little shaker card. So I'm gonna show you how to do one of these, shake, like the shakers, um, not necessarily this one, but this one's in the buffet um, at the moment. <clears throat> so, um, what happens with this little guy, I'm gonna show you the shaker stuff and I'll do a little description as we go along. So we shall sell these um, shaker window and, and confetti thin cuts. So you can cut, there's, there's four, die, uh, four thin cuts in there for your, for your um, embossing machines, you know, the uh, cuddle bug or big shot or whatever you got, Gemini, if you've got an automatic one. So there's four, four things. So there's these little cute, these are the confetti. So I'll show you, I've got a little stash here of some old glitter paper that I've cut out. I just had some little bits left over. So they're the um, negatives. So you could keep them, you could use those on a page or something peeking out somewhere, you know, if you usually use a doily or something, you could use those. And then I've got all these little bits of glittery goodness. So I've got stars and hearts there in gold glitter. You could do a mixture if you wanted to. Hang on, I'll put this back together. There's also in there, there's a heart one. So that heart, there's a heart one. So there's your little red love heart. So you could do that in a little sweetie card. So I've got those. Let's stash those away. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So what we've also got in here is this, um, can you see it? It's a stitched. I love our stitch stuff. You probably can't really see it in in this. Can you see the stitching? You could probably see it on the back. Hang on, just focus. No, it's not gonna work. So it's stitching, it just gives a little bit of extra something. If I have a look a bit closer, can you see? I don't know if I'm getting the right light. There you go, stitching. So that's our stitch freight um, shaker. And then this, this is a bit bigger. So the stitch shaker is about three inches. So I think that one's about three inches as well. Just let me measure. Just to, yeah, it would be dead on three inches. So that three inch circle there cuts behind something that'll go over behind your shaker. Um, and so on this card, I've sponged this piece with some blue ink on the top and some sandy coloured ink on the bottom, so that formed my base. I cheated with these because we have this amazing product. They're called Shaker Window Foam and Acetate. So at the moment, this month and next month, um, they're still $7 a pack and you get six, so it's about $1.13 each they work out to be. And they're cool. So what you've got here, and those who attended Fun Day would have seen these. Um, they're just your 3D foam. 
but the outside's a ring that actually fits in behind this so it sits perfectly over that my little hint with these this is what I tell the girls on the weekend so that I get a nice perfect circle is I get my scissors or I get um, my pokey tool on a flat hard surface and I run around the ring can you hear me Oop, turning that up it actually works better with um, a pokey tool but I didn't put one close at hand and basically I go and cut this this circle off the back so that it doesn't lose its shape when I pull it off you get me get rid of that go away and see all the inside that's just bonus for you that's um yeah this is just so this shaker doesn't lose its shape I don't like it when it loses its shape so makes it harder to put it on the little circle And like I said, normally I'd use a piece of foam and uh, the back. So I'm just going to pull the backing off. See, it's kept its perfect circle shape. And then just going to line up my backing. Just imagine I've coloured this. At the moment I've just gone white. So there's that little guy. I always like to... <clears throat> I'm going to show you my sequins. I always like to... Um, get this stuff out with a spoon don't less is more with these guys i gave some sand i had some sand in these kits it was twice as much as what we needed so um i just use a takeaway spoon just a few little shakies in there i'm using the craft on this of uh, the crafty sequins these ones will disappear um at the end of the catalog in august so if you like those, get your hands on those. The other ones that are going to disappear as well are the rose gold. Delicious. They're, they're going. The gold and silver are remaining. They don't come in these little boxes. They come in little zippy lock bags. I put them in the boxes and I glued my, my label to the top just so I can keep all my ducks in a row. The gold has got some um, clear ones in there as well. There's stars and lots of pretties. Um, there's a new pack coming called Julep, which is the new colour of the year. All right, so getting back to it, sorry. Um, so the shaker foams come with these foams, the ring, and then this clear acetate sheet. Can you see that? Yep. So these clear acetate sheets have got a, um, a extra bit of film on them. So you know if you stick them down wrong, they're not going to stick. You'll have the the cloudy film stick to the bottom so I like to have that one up so that oh I don't have any fingerprints I don't know if it's meant to go up or down it's possibly meant to go down I'm just going to pull the covering off that one and maybe I should put that one down so there's no fingerprints on the inside for these I always start at the bottom and I get my stick along the bottom and then hope for the best that's that little guy. Oh, look, they've got little flowers in them. Can you see those, those crafty ones? They're super cute. And then it's just a simple case of sticking my frame over the top, which is a perfect fit. Now, you're going to be sticking this to plastic, so I always like to go my liquid glass. And because we've got our new applicator, it's a lot easier. So I'm just going to run a line of that around the outside. I've been so grateful for this new applicator. Oh my goodness. And then pick that up. The key with the shake is you can't have any gaps because you don't want to you don't want anything escaping. So that's why it's better off to use a big one. You uh, like a, a ring for this, or you're just gonna have to use a bit more um, tape. And you don't want your tape to to you don't want to see your tape either. So. I'll show you what I mean about the, because um, obviously for the big pages, we don't have shakers for that. That's just crazy. So I used a lot of 3D foam because I didn't want gaps. So that's a little shaker. You'd have them pre-done, whack them on a card. So that's the circle pre-cut shaker foam acetate um, bundle that we can, you know, that we have. And then I've showed you the thin cuts that match. You don't have to have, whoops. You don't have to have your own um, sequins. You can make your own if you've got that um, 
if you've got the shaker thin cuts. All right, so you don't have to do circles though. So that's, that's, that's card one. I'm not gonna go into detail, too much detail on that. Oop. Clear the mess. Card two, card two. So this is Share the Joy. I've only just, <laughs> seriously, I only started this card at like quarter past eight. Can you tell? Um, <coughs> so what I've done here, and I'm going to take you through this um, on a Christmas card one. Um, I've cut up a page protector for my um, shaker background. So here's a page protector. I've cut it. So these shaker frames, this is the Share the Joy. This one is actually going to be carried across into the new... Um, catalog but only on its own as this shaker as this this one only at the moment with the share the joy promo you can get the two of these i think it's for 33 dollars and so there's a banner there and then this one here is the um thin cut with the little circles it's super cute all right so what i've done i've just taken the size of this is that this cuts out is uh four by five and a quarter which is perfect size for cards because it just gives you that little um, quarter quarter inch border or it's actually one eighth of an inch border all the way around um, so the little card I'm going to show you though is with the new square one that actually it comes out in the new catalogue and it's actually a promo for the national stamping month um, so I'll show you those so I've used the mixing papers with this lilac cardstock and some crafty sequins that's just what I had at hand. The Christmas one that I'm going to do in the promo it comes with this cute little clipboard and I'll show you the stamp that goes with that in a minute. And then the square one. So as I said, these will be coming into the new catalogue, not the little bonus thin cut. So that one won't be in the new catalogue, but it, it, it will be in the promo in September. So this one, see they're nice and stitched. Um, there's, what is there, 12 squares. I can see so much potential with that. So I've pre-cut mine and I've got my bits here. This is what <laughs> is going to take a little bit of time, I'm sorry. Um, so I've got my card blank. So that's a um, eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it one and a quarter, uh, one and a quarter, four and a quarter and that's a standard card blank. I've got a piece of, I found it was easier to use a piece of card behind it exactly the same size because trying to get your shake your shakers in there with the um and get it all lined up is is a little bit hard so at least if you line the edges up it should be better i'll show you what I'm, you'll you'll get what i mean when i show you so i'm going to show you from scratch <clears throat> all right i've also got my piece of um page protector here so I'm, that's the first step you've got to stick that one down so um you can stick it down with a little bit of uh, liquid glass or tape runner or a combination of both. So I'm going to just put some tape on here. I can see Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Donna. Hi, Dawn. All right. So I am going to put a couple little dabs of that because I just I don't want it to not stick. Doesn't have to be heaps, just enough to stick him down. It's only sticking to the top. I'm sticking my finger to it. Stick my little. So page protector is going to go onto the front of my shaker, and hopefully, I have a feeling I've cut this a bit big. Ideally, you'd cut it. Oh no! Ideally, you'd cut it just a smidge. Oh my goodness! Who's laughing at me? Give me a heart if you're laughing at me. <laughs> or not a heart. You could give me a laughy face. That's cool. So, as you can see, it's always harder with an audience. That did not go on straight. But that's all right. I can trim that up or I can put it on my trimmer. And just, for the sake of this exercise, I will just have to run with it. Now, you don't want very wide, like it's going to take as long as it takes, but you don't want a very wide piece of um, foam tape. So we've got two. We've got the the wide, the, I think it's, is it 
half inch and then we've got the quarter inch so I'm going to use the quarter inch you can um, go and cut so I used the big one and cut it in half for the scrapbooking layout so I'm going to show you two scrapbooking layouts after I've done this one um, I find it's easier so <coughs> So all my, my shakers, my sparkles, don't settle towards the bottom. I've actually run a line of tape across. And it'd be good if it stuck. I'm going to go back to this and, and finish it off a little bit later, but... So you can see, you can see, you get. I'm gonna use a lot of tape on this, but it's gonna be so worth it. I think you'd only give a card like this to somebody you really liked. Don't laugh, you know what I mean. But you can't. You seriously, you cannot be stingy because you don't want those little critters to escape. Otherwise, you're going to have shakers everywhere. Well, unless you really don't like the person, and then you could do it because, you know, who doesn't like, like you put glitter in there or something. Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine putting glitter in that and then exploding somewhere? I could do that for my brother. He would love that, wouldn't he? Merry Christmas to you. Could you just imagine Ashley Sharon? Oh, my goodness. He would go off. Oh, and I've run out of tape. See? So I think those little squares are about an inch. They're an inch by, by an inch. So this is the time that the non-stick micro tip scissors come in very handy because nothing sticks to them. All right. So see what I've got? I've made three little channels there that are going to hold my uh, sequins. I'm going to stick some gold ones in, I think. I think that'll look nice. So I'm just going to try and stick them in the middle because you've got to go and pull off the, the sticky stuff. All right. the, seriously, these are seriously so quick. It's not funny. They're, they're just too easy. If you were stamping your background, sure, it's going to take a little bit more. But, or if you wanted to put little critters in there, you could, there's some really cute little, um, I'll show you the stamp set that matches this set, because they released two um, exclusive stamp sets for the Christmas promo. Not to mention all that Christmas stuff will be out in November. But at the moment, I'm stuck using last year's paper, so here you go. You can't see, Judy. Have I got to move a bit further? Is that better? Might have to move my table along. Oh, my goodness. All right. So here we go. Oops. I'm going to go this way. Or is it my hands that are in the way? Maybe my hands are in the way. Yep. All right. So there's my little shaker. See? How cool is that? So I would finish that off later because... There's another stamp that set that goes with this one. It's um, it's a it's like for Thanksgiving and things like that. Um, not really our thing, but there's some really cute things in there. So this is a stamp set that will go with um, the the thin cut set for this. And as you can see, there's a little um, clipboard. There's a little Rudolph. So all these little guys could be stamped into these bits if you wanted to, or you could cut them out, put them in there. So this is called Dash of Joy. It's a Dash of Joy promotion. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, that's perfect for the front of a card. You could put another color on the bottom. You could put, um, what else could you put? You could put, it, like this one, I put a different colored piece of card stock. So yeah. So that's, that's shakers with cards. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now I'm going to show you. Do you want to? Do you want to see the finished product first or do you want to see what we're doing first? You probably want to see what we're doing first. So I'll show you the finished product and then I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, I've just got to clean up my spot, make some room. Scrapbooking is a bit more messy than card making. Only because you've got a bigger project. Alrighty. 
As long as I stay on the mat, we should be good. Oh, I might take this out of the page protector. So here's a shaker layout. Can you see what I've done? This is all, can you hit you where you can hear it? So that one there, I don't know if we're, depending on how we go, we might throw this in the buffet for everybody to have a look. Um, basic, it's all Cricut cut apart from the back and I'm gonna show you how to do the back in a minute. Um, I've used uh, foil paper to cut, that's what the frame and the title's out of. I've used a combination of the silver sequins and the rose gold sequins for the layout. Um, yeah, so that's the girly layout. I've used the mixing, oh, hang on. I've, the boys' layout's half done because I wanted to be able to show you how to assemble the rest without taking too much time. So this is part of the boy layout. I'm going to roll him over and show you. Whoops, everything's getting stuck. Right, so this is part of the boy layout. I've got a section here that's not done. So this is, I'm going to show you how to get up to this section and then I'll finish this one off and it'll all be good. So that's my back. So you'll see how I get there. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump to this next bit where we're actually doing it. So I'll just get that out of the road. Mm -hmm. Right. So I've chosen, I've chosen to have a charcoal piece of cardstock as my base. So I'm going to pull that over in a minute. This one I'm going to do a different colour. I haven't cut out all the bits, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I've got my page protector. So anything you should know, if you've got a Cricut, you should know that um, anything you cut um, on the Cricut, most of the time you can only, the maximum size you can do is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So it's always going to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to cut my page protector. Sorry, I didn't have that handy. All right, page protector. So you're gonna be able to get two layers. If you make this at home, you're gonna be able to get two layouts out of this. So I'm just gonna cut the um, stitching off, throw that away. And then I'm going to get my trimmer and cut. So I want this just a, it's probably easier if it's a little bit less than 11 and a half, just a smidge. So it could be 11 and uh, three eighths or something like that. You just want a tiny little bit smaller so you don't have what I had before where it's going to be hanging over the edge. So All right. here are my two protectors so you could get away with because i only did um three bits of shaker you could get away with only putting plastic on those three bits it's entirely up to you if you only want to use a little bit you can i'll leave that up to you though to work out what you want to do All right so what i've done is i've just gone and got scrap and see the white bits oh you can see it better on this see the white bits they're the punch outs from my um pre-cut shapes here like the 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 frame all right so this is the frame i think it goes that way so these I, what i did i laid all these out onto wherever they go onto the right sections and basically i put all the white ones in the holes and then i put tape on the top of the white ones and then stuck them to the back of the paper stuck them to the back of the paper um of what I wanted to poke through and so when I'm going to stick these down I'm going to flip it over and then they'll they'll come through but I'll show you that in a sec so this is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put my plastic on so again I'm going to use a combination of tape runner and liquid glass to stick my plastic down everybody can see okay still hi Lisa how are you Coming all the way from Mudgy. Okay, I'm just going to stick that down. All right, I'm going to run some liquid glass. Look, just imagine I've done it because I'm, I'm I don't want to keep you all night. 
I tried, I'm trying to keep these under half an hour. At least there's no football tonight. So I'm going to stick that on. And as I said, if you cut a little bit smaller, it'll fit a bit better. And if once you, if you've used liquid glass, like I've only used a little bit, if you've used liquid glass, just set it aside to dry. But um, I'm going to move on. All right, so I've got my little bits. And basically, all you do is I've, I'll pick my bits. I've got to go and find where they fit. You stick it down and put it down face up with your white on the back. You can leave that on. It's on. And I'm just running the liquid glass close to the edge, but not so that when you put your paper on, it's going to squish out because you don't want that either. So I've made it so that colours don't sit side by side either. So I'm going to take you up to this. So I'm going to take you up to the section where the man's, the male layout is that I've done. But this is just so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see that? That black and white pattern is probably not the best colour to show. But that that's the start, all right? I can see your comments, Lisa. That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to take you up to where the boy is. So just imagine what I do, every piece... I'm going to lay in behind here except the pieces that I'm going to put the shakers on because the shakers I've got to stick down and then I've got to put 3D foam on, add the shakers in and, and oh, sorry, I'm going to put the 3D foam around the outside and then I'm going to add this piece over the top once I put my shaker stuff in. So I'll show you that on the next layout. So put that aside. That's where I'm up to on the boys' layout. So see, I've got one section here that I haven't. I've got one section here that I haven't got any orange on because, no, I'm doing blue. Oh, get it together, Tanya. I'm going to put the the blue section there. And where is my blue section? Oh God, I hope I haven't lost it. Whoops. Hang on. And I cleaned up. <coughs> I didn't cut any of these. I didn't cut any of these out of um, like with. I just I just hacked them honestly, so I can't find my little bit of blue. So I've used the light side, and I'm just going to use this purple piece, and I'm just going to cut around it. For these uh, shaker pieces, you just want a little bit. You probably want about of a quarter of an inch of an edge on top of what the white is. So nobody's going to see it. It's the back. It's going to stick to the back of your piece of cardstock that you stick on the base. So, there we go. So, just imagine that's got a white piece on it. All right. So, what colours did I use? I used silver and rose gold in here. So, I'm going to get my silver and my rose gold. Just going to put like a little half a spoon there. This one, I'm going to put a little half a spoon there. I should put the top back on my liquid glass. Then I'm going to remove my protector from the foam tape. And then I'm going to stick my piece over that all right so that is the last piece of the shaker all right so this is pretty much done what I've done then because these the shakers are all on foam I've gone and put foam tape all the same height all over the back of this so that I can stick that to my base sheet of cardstock so I think I just found my bit of blue. <laughs> Isn't that funny? On these high bits, I'm just going to run a little bit of tape. I'm going to go and take all the pieces of paper off my foam. Just stick it to the layout. And 
And then, what side am I going to use? Oh, I've got liquid glass all over that, so I'll be using this side. We're going to go the dark side. Ooh. And then this is going to have a nice little quarter inch border, so I'll just try and line that up as best I can. And stick it down. So it's got its little border. Now I've got all the other bits that go on this. So what I've pre-cut. This is going to be fishing. So I've got a little fish. I've got a boat. These are all cut off our cricket cartridges. And a fishing line. And I've pre-cut. I've got a 5 by 7 photo mat here. And then I've got a 3 by 4 photo mat here. So I'm going to stick... These ones down first, I think I'm going to use the lighter side. Hang on, how far have I got to get up a little bit? I hope you can see that. Yep. Just bring it in a little bit so you can have a peek of what's behind it. I might pop these on a bit of 3D foam. So I'm, I'm just going to use my leftovers here from the... Um, the sh shaker. I'm not going to put any tape on these at the moment because they're going to sit over the photo. I can go and put um, some foam on that later. Or I could put it now and then I don't put any, um, don't take the backing off it. But you want to be able to have, be able to get your photo in under there. So... It'll do. So I'm gonna leave that on. I'm gonna stick my little boat down here, just on the edge. You could three these these if you wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna overlap that a little bit. There's no tape on that corner there, so that'll be okay. I hope you can see down there. Okay, where's my fish? I've got some fish. That's exciting. I did, um, I cut these out in silk. There's silver foil and silver glitter, glitter on the bottom. Hi, Marion. I should say hi, Anne, Ange. And any Ange or Anne will um, get a bit of a freak out when they watch the video. I like messing with people. So I've put a little bit of 3D foam behind those little critters as well. I've got this cool fishing line, fishing rod. I'm just going to stick him on the edge up there as well. And will I 3D this? Why not? Now, see my, um, I'll hold it up in a second. See my orange bits? They're not printed paper. They are um, just plain nectarine cardstock that I've used. And I grabbed a stamp set that was in the flash sale for the Stamp Ganza, or I can't remember what it was called. Um, and the word said Adventure Ahead. So I've just made my own um, printed paper there to use behind that, just so that I can match in the colours. Um, I do that quite a bit. I don't mind that. Jeez, I miss my nails. It's probably the most boring thing watching somebody do this. Has anybody got any questions? I will, um, after this has been in the buffet, if it's going to go in the buffet, uh, I will share the instructions. Is it? I find for some reason if I turn things sideways, I can get it straight easier. Don't ask me why. And my little fishing rod. I'm pretty sure the fishing rod and the title are off the You Are Here cartridge. <coughs> Just going to put that up there like that. And I've got another fish. There's another fish. The plan was to stick the fish up here like that. 
So I know it's a little bit fussy for a boy's layout and it's fishing and hi Lenore, hi Ange. Um, but I think it's cool. It's something a little bit different. It shapes, it's cool, whatever. So holy dooly, I went over time tonight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked it. Make sure you leave some comments if you like it. Um, if you'd like the layout to appear at a buffet, uh, be sure to let us know what you'd like. Um, if you don't like my colour combo, you can suggest a different colour combo too. Um, we do take pre-orders. Thanks for watching. Bye.